Are you considering moving to North Carolina but wondering what are the best towns and neighborhoods to consider? Stick around as we go over the top five cities and towns. You will be shocked to see how many are in the Triangle and Triad area. Hello everyone, I'm Nicholas Newcomer, a real estate broker with EXP Realty in North Carolina. Are you looking to relocate to North Carolina but unsure of what town or city you would like to move to? Today we're going to go over the top five cities in North Carolina. This will be a two-part series. In part two, will we cover cities six through ten? I got this list using niche.com. Let's get the ball rolling with the number one city in North Carolina is Cary, North Carolina. Niche.com gave Cary an overall grade of an A+. Cary also received an A plus for public schools, good for families, health and fitness, and an A minus in housing, outdoor activities, and nightlife, and an A in jobs and diversity, and a B minus in cost of living. Cary has a population of around 171,600 people. The median household income in Cary is around $113,782. The median sales price for a single family home in Cary is $740,000. Single family homes in Cary has started to decline after it has been on a sharp increase over the last few months. If you're looking for a townhouse in Cary, North Carolina, the median sales price is $512,000. Townhouse prices have been on a sharp increase in Cary, North Carolina. If you're looking for a condo in Cary, North Carolina, the median sales price is $297,500. Condos have been on a up and down cycle here in the last few months. However, they are on a downtrend right now. If you're looking to rent in Cary, North Carolina, it will run you around $1,600. $664 a month. Cary also ranked first for best suburbs to live in Wake County, second for best places for young professionals in Wake County, second for best suburbs to raise a family in Wake County, fourth for best places with the best public schools in the Raleigh area, and first for best places to live in North Carolina. In 2022, Cary, North Carolina was voted the safest town in America. Here are the national rankings for property and violent crimes in Cary, North Carolina. As mentioned a while ago, Cary has some of the top performing schools in the area and here are the top performing public and private schools in Cary, North Carolina. Here are some independent reviews that talk about how Cary has some of the best schools in the area. They also talked about the shopping and restaurant opportunities within Cary. They also talked about the greenways and parks throughout the town that provide a great way for people to get outside and enjoy the outdoors. One review talks about how Cary is peaceful, especially within the neighborhoods. They also talk about how convenient Cary Cary is to Raleigh and neighboring towns and cities are only within a 20 to 30 minute drive. Cary is an 18 minute drive to Raleigh, North Carolina and a 15 minute drive to the Research Triangle Park. If you're looking for something fun to do in Cary, you want to check out the amphitheater in Cary, North Carolina. The amphitheater is an outdoor space playing host to some of the biggest touring shows in the country like Billy Strings and Gabriel and Glacis. The amphitheater hosts over 60 events between the months of April to October. The amphitheater promotes a variety of events including food, festivals, and large-scale community events like Oktoberfest and the July 4th celebrations. The amphitheater is well known annual North Carolina Chinese Lantern festivals which utilizes the entire ground of the venue with amazing silk sculptures from November to January drawing more than 216,000 visitors. If you're looking to catch a show in Cary, North Carolina, give this amphitheater a shot. I will link their calendar of events in the description below. The second city on the list is Mooresville, North Carolina. Mooresville is located west of Raleigh and south of Durham. Mooresville has a population of 28,824 people. Niche.com gave Mooresville an overall grade of an A+. Morrisville received an A+, for public schools, good for families, an A- minus for outdoor activities and housing, an A for jobs and diversity, and a B- minus for cost of living and crime and safety. The median household income in Morrisville is $106,890. The median sales price for a single family home in Morrisville will run you around $715,000, which is on a decline since the past couple of months. 
works. If you're looking for a townhouse in Morrisville, it is going to run you around $395,000. Townhouse prices have been going down since they have peaked in April of this year. Right now, homes in Morrisville are only on the market for about 18 days compared to 34 days last year before they were under contract. If you're looking to rent Morrisville, North Carolina, it is going to run you around $1,700 a month. Morrisville ranked first for best places for young professionals in Wake County, third for best places to raise a family in Wake County, first for places with the best public schools in Wake County, second for best places to buy a house in the Raleigh area, and fourth for places with the best public schools in North Carolina. Morrisville received a B- from Niche.com for crime and safety. Here's the national rankings for the property and violent crimes in Morrisville. Morrisville has some of the top performing schools in the area. Here are the top performing public and private schools in Morrisville. Here are some independent reviews on Morrisville, North Carolina. Most talk about how nice it is. Only 20 minutes from Raleigh or 20 minutes from Durham. It is a very convenient city to live in. Some reviews talk about how Morrisville is so quiet and peaceful with good educational opportunities. Some talk about how good the job market is in Morrisville. The one negative review I can find is talking about how expensive it is to live in Morrisville with rent being so high. One unique and interesting thing to do in Morrisville is to go to the RDU Observation Park. This is popular with kids of all ages. You have sweeping views of RDU's 10,000 feet runways and is located near the air traffic control tower. You can spend hours upon hours watching and listening to the pilot tower communications through the audio speakers. This park is open from 9 a.m. to sunset every day and there is free parking, restrooms, and the elevated operation platform and a picnic area and a play area for the kids. Moving on to neighborhood number three is Dilworth, North Carolina. Dilworth is a neighborhood in Charlotte, North Carolina and it's just south of downtown Charlotte. To get to downtown Charlotte it will take you about nine minutes from Dilworth. Dilworth has a population of almost 2,700 people. Niche.com gave Dilworth an overall grade of an A+. An A+, for good for families, nightlife, health and fitness, and an A in jobs, commute, and public schools. A B+, for outdoor activities, and a C+, for cost of living. The median household income in Dilworth is $147,110. The median household income is a little over double the national average. If you're looking for a single family home, the median sales price is $1,237,500. Single family home prices have been on a decline since February of 2023 when they hit just about 1.6 million. If you're looking for a townhouse in Dilworth, North Carolina, the median sales price is $945,000, which is 20.4% higher over last year this time. If you are interested in a condo in Dilworth, the median sales price is $399,250, which is up 1.1% over last year this time. The median rent in Dilworth, North Carolina is $1,799 per month. Dilworth ranked first for best neighborhoods for young professionals in Charlotte, first for best neighborhoods to live in Charlotte, 14 best neighborhoods to raise a family in the Charlotte area, and 23rd for best neighborhoods to buy a house in Charlotte. Here's a couple independent reviews that talk about how walkable, dog friendly, and super fun, trendy the town is. Some talk about how safe the neighborhoods are. Another review talks about how Dilworth is in a historic Charlotte area. The neighborhood is in a high rent in diversity with incredible food and the wine tasting rooms that are available. Talk about all the wine tasting in Dilworth. One thing to check out is the wine loft. The wine loft is in an upscale wine bar in the south end of Charlotte. They offer a wide variety of wines by the glass and by the bottle. They have a full menu of small plates and desserts, cocktails, and local beer selections. Also, wine tastings are offered weekly. The wine loft is open Tuesdays to Thursdays 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. Fridays and Saturdays 4 p.m. to 12 a.m. and they are closed Sundays and Mondays. The one loft offers live music and events throughout the year also. Next up is town number four is Davidson, North Carolina. Davidson is a suburb of Charlotte, North Carolina. Davidson is just north of Charlotte. If you're looking to get to Charlotte from Davidson, it will take you 
25 minutes. Roughly 14,644 people called Davidson home. Niche.com gave Davidson an overall grade of an A+, an A+, for good for families and jobs, and an A for public schools, health, and fitness, and an A- for housing, nightlife, and commute, a B plus for outdoor activities, a B minus for cost of living, and a B for crime and safety. The median household income is $141,845, which is twice the national average. The median single family home price in Davidson is $795,000, which is 10.8% higher over last year. If you're looking for a townhouse in Davidson, the median sales price is $454,682, which is 22.9% higher over last year this time. If you're looking for a condo in Davidson, the median sales price is $453,500, which is a 33.4% increase over last year this time. If you are looking to rent in Davidson, it is going to run you around $1,000. $652 per month. Here are some of the top performing public and private schools in the Davidson area. Some independent reviews talk about how Davidson is a nice small college town with amazing food and different shops. They talk about the town hosting many events such as concerts and Christmas parades. Some talk about how the slower pace and low crime in Davidson. Another review talks about how easy access to Lake Norman and Concord and the Charlotte International Airport will only take you 30 minutes to get to. Davis also ranked first for places with the best public schools in Mecklenburg County, first for best suburbs to buy a house in Mecklenburg County, first for best suburbs to raise a family in Mecklenburg County, and third for best suburbs to live in North Carolina. Niche.com gave Davidson a B for crime and safety. Here is the national rankings for the violent and property crimes in Davidson, North Carolina. If you're looking for something to do and like to get fresh locally grown vegetables, you should give the Davidson Farmer's Market a try. The Davidson Farmers Market was founded in 2008 and has grown to become Lake Norman's Prime Farmers Market as a producer only to provide local farmers a place to sell their products directly to the consumer while supplying shoppers with healthy, fresh, and locally grown food. The market features over 35 vendors. They offer a wide variety, which includes certified organic and naturally grown fruits and vegetables, grass-fed beef, pasture pork, egg for free-range chickens, North Carolina seafood and fresh baked goods. The farmer's market is open every Saturday from April 1st to November 18th from 9 a.m. to noon. The last neighborhood we're going to talk about today is Uptown, which is a neighborhood in Charlotte, North Carolina. Niche.com gave Uptown an overall grade of an A+, and an A+, for commute, nightlife, and health and fitness, and an A for good for families, and an A- for jobs, a B+, for outdoor activities, diversity, and public schools, and a B for housing. The worst grade niche.com gave Uptown is a C plus for cost of living. Uptown has a population of 6,468 people. The median household income is $100,997, which is well above the national average. If you're looking to buy a single family house in Uptown, the median sales price is $558,990, which is a 7.2% increase over last year this time. You may be looking for a townhouse in Uptown. The median sales price is $400,000. 38,000, which is a 5% increase over last year. If you are interested in a condo in that Uptown Charlotte, the median sales price is 346,000, which is a 7.5% decrease over last year this time. If you are someone looking to rent in Uptown Charlotte, the median rent is $1,632 per month. Here are some of the top performing public and private schools in Uptown Charlotte. Uptown Charlotte also ranked second for best neighborhoods for young professionals in Charlotte, second for best neighborhoods to live in Charlotte, 42nd best neighborhoods to raise a family in Charlotte, and fifth for best places to live in North Carolina. There is so much for you to do in Uptown Charlotte. Here's a few options that you can take advantage of and do during the evening hours. You can go check out a Panthers game at the Bank of America Stadium or go see the Hornets play a basketball game at the Spectrum Center. Charlotte has buzzing rooftop bars such as the Merchant and Trade and Rooftop. 22 are great places places. Locals like to spend the evening against the beautiful backdrop of the city skyline. If you're looking for a more low-key place to end your evening, consider Alexander Michaels, an amazing Charlotte restaurant in the Fourth Ward. Alexander Michaels is a cozy 32-year-old tavern, which is loved by the locals. There we have the top five cities and neighborhoods in North Carolina. Are you shocked to see two out of the five from the Raleigh area? 
which one of these towns or neighborhoods do you like the best? Let me know in the comments below. We will go over the towns and neighborhoods 6 through 10 in part 2. So be on the lookout for that. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. And to see more videos like this one, hit the subscribe button. I release new videos every Friday. If you have any questions or are looking to buy, sell, or invest in the area, call or text me at 336-266-8976 or email me at nicholas.newcomer at exprealty.com. I hope you have seen some value in this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.